Gildas and I travelled on across Madagascar to a place called Berenti in the southeast corner of the island. Of course, it's not just the trees that are being destroyed. I think we need to go and find out a little bit more about the wildlife that's being lost when the forests are chopped. There's a wildlife reserve in this area that's featured in countless nature documentaries in recent decades. The reserve was established in the 1930s by a French plantation owner. It's become synonymous with Madagascar's most iconic animals. So we've come to one of the most famous wildlife reserves on the island and we're looking well, we're creeping through the bushes, looking for Madagascar's lemurs. But spotting lemurs here is not so easy. And it was more than an hour before we saw anything. But they're just on the trees over here. Can you just see them up there? Here in Berenti, you can see Sifarka lemurs and the most famous ringtail lemurs. Such a cute scene. Lemurs are unique to Madagascar. Scientists believe they're descendants of primates that travelled across the Indian Ocean from the mainland millions of years ago on logs or rafts of matted vegetation. This place is beautiful, but, and it's a huge but, this reserve contains a large chunk of the only remaining forests of its kind in Madagascar. And this place is actually tiny. It's not much bigger than some London parks. And this on an island that's the fourth largest on the planet. The lemurs have really got nothing left. After hours of searching for lemurs in the forest, it was time to go back to the visitor's lodge. We were greeted by an amazing display. Are you right? You lost? <laughs> no, hopefully not. Chances are, if you've seen lemurs filmed in Madagascar, it was shot here. And it turns out, we're reliably informed, that almost all of the shots are generally filmed in an area around these buildings, bungalows, with the cameramen straining to keep the buildings out of shot. We're not going to do that because I think you should see the reality here. I think if you take the buildings out of the shop, in fact, this place generally might give the impression that there's a lot of wilderness, of wild paradise left in Madagascar, and that is not the case. <laughs> 